Hello, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see at the beginning of this video, you saw an overview of my journal. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to do a very simple layout or spread for your journal. Um, excuse me here, I need to listen to some music whenever I am doing something because plain silence gets to me i cannot stand it so i had to put some jams on my on my ipad <laughs> anyway so here i am cutting out some stamps um they are not real stamps though i just want to make sure that you guys know that these pictures of the stamps are actually from a stamp catalog and i thought the stamps looked really cool because they're like vintage and although they're not real, I thought they would look cool if I used them in this um, spread. And I had been wanting to use them for like a while, but I didn't know where. So I was like, ding, ding, ding. This is a perfect moment to use these pretty pictures of stamps. Now that I've cut out all the stamps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them onto my journal using this adhesive tape. Now, I don't follow any special formula or recipe, however you want to say it, when I'm doing this spread. Honestly, this is all out of my mind. This is freestyle. So, honestly, it is up to your own discretion however you want to place the stamps. Get creative and do it however you want to. And however you think it looks nice, of course. Now this pink sheet is from a paper pad that I bought from Walmart. And all I'm doing is using this paper cutter that I bought also from Walmart. And I'm just cutting it into a small square so I can tape it on top of the stamps. Now keep in mind that you don't have to have this exact type of paper or buy or go to Walmart and buy a paper pad. You can use whatever paper you have available. Um, that includes printer paper. You have colorful printer paper, paper, excuse me, or um, cardstock or construction paper at home. Use that. Use whatever you have. Get creative. Don't go and spend money that you don't have. I remember when I was younger, um, I didn't have money, obviously, because I was dependent on my mother and she would buy me whatever she could and it was usually cheap items. And when I mean cheap, I'm talking about paper from the dollar store or from this Chinese 99 cent store that's located to where I used to live before when I was younger. And I was happy using that paper. So like I said, all it is is about you getting creative and using and working with what you have. So right here, I am adding washi tape. Now again, you don't have to use washi tape. You could easily cut strips of paper and do the same thing that I'm doing. Um, I really like this washi tape because it gives it a girly vibe and I can be pretty girly sometimes. Um, now this punch, um, it's fancy, I'll admit it. And like I said, you don't have to buy it either. All it's doing literally is working with my laziness because, hello, <laughs> as an adult, we can get pretty lazy. But, um, it just rounds the corners and you could easily do that with a pair of scissors. Here I am adding more of the um, stamps that I cut out earlier and 
the same goes for that uh, adhesive tape that I'm using. Um, you could easily use a glue stick or, you know, the Elmer's glue that we all used in school. Um, and, but if you have that adhesive tape, by all means, use your adhesive tape. So the same it goes for this side of the spread. I wasn't following any formula. It is all just out of my mind. Now, those stickers, I was going to use them, but I changed my mind. And so I ended up using these stickers that I made. These are made um, with some die cuts that I already had. I didn't make the die cuts. I bought them um, online from, I forgot the website, but I'll link it down below. Um, and all I used was um, this sticker maker. And I forgot the name of the sticker maker too. Like, oh my God, I got like a thousand things going on in my head. It's hard to remember everything, but I will um, mention it in the link. I'm sorry, not in the link, in the description down below as well. So, as you can see, I peeled off the top and the bottom, and all I do is stick the die cut on there, and it's like a sticker. Um, and again, you don't have to have that sticker maker. You could easily get your Elmer's glue and do the same thing. Now, in this portion, I am using this brush marker, and I'm writing the word hello, um, just to add a title to it so it doesn't look so plain. The brush marker that I'm using for this um, title is called Artline, Artline Sticks, Artline Sticks, yeah, um, I'll add them in the description as well because don't quote me on that, but I think they are Artline Sticks and they're really cool because they can attach, they're like kind of like Legos, but you know, get creative if you don't have the Artline brush markers, use whatever marker you have. Trust me, you don't need none of the fancy items that I have. You can get creative. It is all in your mind. Use your creative. Use your mind to create what suits you and what you believe is your style and what you will be happy with. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.